good afternoon everybody how y'all doing pretty good here and welcome to the channel I've had uh, a few requests uh, to show the window sticker from the uh, 2018 Toyota Tundra that I just got so I have it here so we're gonna we're gonna go over that show you the options and stuff on the truck and uh, also got uh, a piece of mail today in the P.O. box so and any of you who are interested there's the P.O. box number so we're gonna open this see what it is I have no idea so anyway let me point you down here zoom you in a little bit got the uh, sticker here of course and then hopefully I can get you close enough so you can see it I think that's pretty good let's just see yeah Maybe line you up a little better. Okay, so we're going to start on the uh, the first line here. I'm sure, I'm in the right spot. This is a uh, 2018 Toyota Tundra Limited Crew Max FFV, uh, which I believe is flex fuel vehicle, TRD off road. Uh, it is cement in color. It is a four x four, as you can see. Uh, let's see, it is, uh, there you go, 15 miles per gallon combined city and highway, 13 city, 17 highway, uses uh, 6.7 gallons per 100 miles. And if you go down here, they tell you that your annual fuel cost is going to be $2,400. And on the uh, fuel economy and greenhouse rating, it is a 2 out of 10. And a uh, small grading over here, a 5 out of 10. Now, we're going to spend $5,250 more in fuel over five years compared to the average new vehicle. It's a truck, what can I say? All right, let's, uh, let's go here. First of all, this is uh, standard equipment, mechanical, and performance. If I can zoom you in maybe even a little more. There we go. It has the 5.7 liter iForce V8 E85 flex fuel dual overhead cam 32 valve motor with dual, uh, looks like dual induction, variable valve timing, I3880, oh, I, 381 horsepower, 401 feet pound of torque. That's not bad. Six speed automatic transmission with sequen sequen bleh, sequential shift. Uh, let's see, we have four wheel demand, part time four wheel drive with electric control transfer case, A track and auto LSD. Mine does have the larger fuel tank, 38 gallons. Means I don't have to go to the gas station quite as often. Uh, it has the tow package, tow receiver hitch with a 4.3 axle. Some of you folks have asked. Well, there you go. It's the 4.3 axle. Engine transmission fluid coolers and tow haul mode. Now, that tow haul mode I've got to try out, apparently. A uh, heavy-duty battery and alternator. An integrated 4.7 pin connector for towing. Double wishbone front step with stabilizer bar. Trap leaf rear suspension staggered uh, OB shocks. Power assisted four wheel disc brakes, 20 inch alloy wheels with, and some people have asked about the tires, they are a P275 55R20 tire. Safety and convenience, it has the rear backup camera, manual uh, headlamp lever control, trailer brake control and trailer sway, uh, star safety system including ABS, VSC and more, and more. Three point seat belts for all positions, eight total airbags, including front and rear. Tire pressure monitor, TPMS system. Toyota Safety Sense. Uh, pre collision system with uh, PED DET. I don't know what that means. Lane departure alert, sway warning. Uh, let's see. Automatic high beams, I like that. That's pretty cool. And dynamic radar cruise control. <clears throat> Excuse me. Exterior. Uh, power vertical rear window with privacy glass. Love that. That was one of the real uh, big reasons why I wanted this truck, believe it or not. 
Uh, five and a half foot double wall bed with rail caps. Eh, too bad. Deck rail system with four adjustable tie down cleats. On the interior, we have the leather trimmed and heated 10 way power adjustable driver and power adjustable passenger front bucket seats. 60 40 split fold up rear seats. Dual zone automatic climate control. E tune premium audio with integrated navigation and app suite. 7 inch, that's 7 inch, high resolution touchscreen, AM, FM, cash radio, HD radio, Sirius XM with three months trial, USB, auxiliary CD, Bluetooth, and Siri eyes free, and a full tank of gas. So, whoops, wow, this thing works quick. There, there's a close up, how do you like that? <coughs> Excuse me, zoom you out a little bit. So those are all the, uh, that's the standard equipment. Interior, safety, exterior, and mechanical. Um, so now we're going to go over to the, uh, let's see, the optional equipment. We're going to take a look at that. So let me get you, uh, zoom back down here. This is a process, I know. Uh, let's see. Zoom you in here. Get you where you can see. There, eh, maybe a little closer, how's that? Let's fold the page over, easier for me to handle. Uh, let's see, okay, it's paper so I can keep it uh, in line, I guess. Um, the suggested retail price, and this is before, whoops, all the uh, additional options, is $45,300. So, we have federal emissions, okay. The limited package for $1,850. Combines the convenience package with, uh, which includes front and rear parking assist. Oops, get that down here. I gotta test that out. I'm not uh, exactly sure how that works. Uh, parking assist. We gotta open this up so we can see everything. Sonar, uh, blind spot monitor, and rear cross traffic alert. Upgrades to color keyed rear bumper. Well, we know it has that because. Uh, it's pretty cool. Uh, with additional convenience features including E-Tune Premium JBL audio with integrated and navigation and app suite, crew max only, power windows with driver and front passenger auto up and down, and anti-theft system with alarm, glass breakage sensor rather, and engine immobilizer. It has the TRD off-road package. And what does that include? Well, that upgrades the standard wheels. Ah to 18 inch split uh, five and six spoke TRD off-road package alloy wheels with black accents and Michelin. And here you go, someone had asked about the tires. With Michelin LTX A slash T2 P75 65R18 tires. So that's what I'm running on mine, the Michelin P275 65R18s. Ah, uh, let's see, includes trail tuned Bliston uh, shock absorbers, engine skid plate, fuel tank skid plate, front tow hooks and on 4x2 models, standard on all 4x4 models, which I have, LED headlights and LED fog lights, S, uh, let's see, on the SR5 models only, standard on limited and 1794, TRD off-road floor mats, which we have, which are pretty nice. Ah, uh, let's see, and that's also on the SR5 and limited models only. On the on bedside TRD off-road decal. I could have done without that. Uh, power, okay, that, that includes the, uh, the options under that $1,850 you saw right up here. So now we're going to move into another category. It has the uh, power tilt and slide moon roof with sliding sunshade, $850. Preferred owner's portfolio. Ah, uh, don't know what that means, but it has it. Stainless steel door edge guards, 140 bucks. They're actually color matched, so they don't stand out. That's cool. Those are okay, could have done without it, but they came with it. Brush stainless steel step guard, $475 for that thing. Um, again, not a big fan of the brush stainless steel, but uh, they are very functional, very functional. All weather liners, door sills, $219. I guess that's a good thing. So, 
and a delivery, let's see, let's get down here, a delivery and processing, or delivery processing and handling fee of $1,295. Bringing this truck to a grand total of $50,199. Wow. Uh, one other thing I'll mention, this truck was assembled in San Antonio, Texas. Um, and that's everything on the sticker. So let me zoom you back out here again. This camera zooms very, very slowly. All right, and then it's a little jerky on the tripod. Go figure. So anyway, that is the sticker rundown on my uh, 2018 Toyota Tundra Limited Crew Max. They call it an FFV. I call it TRD Off-Road. Um, so hopefully that answers any questions anybody might have had. That's everything that's on the truck, except for what I may have added or removed since then. Uh, now, I did mention uh, in the beginning that we got a, uh, a package or a letter or something. It looks like a decal of some kind inside. So we're going we're gonna to open this up. It is from the Tundra 4x4 Club. You guys can see that. I don't know. Oh well, take my word for it. It's from the Tundra 4x4 Club. So, let's uh, open this up. Hopefully it uh, doesn't explode or anything. I'll point you guys down here a little bit so you can watch the opening. And then i got to figure out where we're at here. There, I think that's pretty good. Alright, let's open this thing up. Again, don't know what it is. Wasn't expecting anything, but that's okay. That's cool. It is. It is. It is. Oh! They are Tundra. Put it the right way so you can see it. They are Tundra 4x4 Club stickers. Check that out. Two of them. That is pretty cool. Now, I am generally not a sticker guy, but I will put one of these on my rear window just so everybody can see it. It's not a bad color. I don't see any chrome. I see a little bit of white, some gray. It'll match pretty well. So anyway, thanks to uh, the Tundra 4x4 Club. Uh, I appreciate that. These are, uh, these are pretty neat. I'll put them on, or at least one. I'll put one on. As usual, appreciate you guys watching. Please uh, give this video a thumbs up. Click subscribe if you haven't before. And we'll see you next time on the web. Have a good night. Bye.